hi beautiful people welcome to my channel my name is Chidema you are highly welcome so in today's video I want to show you how I achieved this gorgeous wig using a full woman hair fullless wig and if you're interested to see how I achieved this from start to finish keep watching so this is the fullest wig I am using for this wig so shortly I'm going to show you the product I use for bleaching and the process of bleaching this fullest wig as you can see it comes on pre bleached so this is the developer um, I am going to use for the bleaching process and this is the bleaching powder you can use any brand any type of powder and bleach a developer of choice then this is the purple shampoo which I'm going to use after bleaching the hair you're going to see it shortly through this video then this is my mixture uh, mixing bowl and spatula for mixing and application then my gloves make sure you use hand glove because the first time I tried you doing this without hand gloves the experience was not funny so always protect your hands while doing this process so first of all I'm going to add my bleaching powder the quantity this is what the bleaching powder looks like I'm going to add it into this bowl I like to add enough so that I'm not going to come back to mix uh, the uh, powder again then after adding the powder I will add my developer to the powder so add it in a way that it forms um, the two mixture form a paste you understand so I'm going to show you what the consistency of the paste should look like before you apply start applying them so this is what it looks like it's not too runny it's not too thick is the way that if you turn it down it takes time for it to draw from the spatula so you have to make it this way so that it will not um, say, or sink through the lace and damage your hair so the applica application process I'm using is this method gently dab the applicator with the paste on it to your lace gently don't uh, use pressure just light pressure don't use any pressure on it do it as if you are plastering the applied mixture on the full lace the one I'm showing make sure you don't use pressure to push because when you use too much pressure you push the mixture through the lace and it will affect the hair so I will keep on um, putting the bleach uh, mixture bleaching mixture until I cover the whole of the lace So once I cover the whole of the lace, this is what everything looks like. Then I'll proceed to cover it for quicker action. I cover it with a plastic bag. Then after some minutes, I don't like over bleaching. I just allow it for like 10 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll go ahead to wash off the bleaching mixture from the less full less week after washing everything off or rinsing everything off the next step i will do is to use my purple shampoo which i showed you earlier at this point it's safe to remove your hand gloves so i'm going to use the purple shampoo to to calm down any brassiness or any discoloration or harsh color from the bleaching so do what this purple shampoo does is to bring everything to order and to neutralize the power of the bleaching shampoo I oh, sorry the bleaching uh, mixture so after neutralizing the whole thing that's the bleaching power 
I'll go ahead and wash off the shampoo. You can use purple shampoo or another, there's this other one. If I remember the name, I'll put it there. Is it Saver Shampoo? Then after washing and rinsing off the shampoo, I'll go ahead to use my conditioner to balance the whole process. You know, bleaching process is a very harsh process on the hair. So what the conditioner does is to bring down the balance or the harshness of the bleaching power on the hair. So to add more moisture and softness to the hair. So I make sure I massage the conditioner well, then I rinse everything off. So now, after rinsing everything off, I will go ahead to dry my hair. You can put it, uh, dry it, you can use your hand dryer depending on how you want it. So now this fullest wig is ready to be used. After drying the fullest wig, as you can see how the knots are looking. So next thing is to start braiding my wig. This is what the fullest wig looks like. So before I braid my wig, I have to section the wig in a way that suit the style I am making or I want to make so this I'm making is um, corn rolls on the, at the front then individual braids at the back so I'm starting since I am already familiar with braiding I'm starting where I feel is um, the ear the highest point of the ear from one ear to the other then for me to make this wig so clean and easy for me to work with, I'm using my shine and jam to make the pattern clear for me and also easier for me to part the hair as human hair, this human hair is short and also it gets in the way too much while trying to part the hair. So what the shine and jam does is to help keep the hair hairs in place while I part and braid the hair. So I'll start doing the individual braids at the, at the back. Then I'm going to let you guys sit and watch the process. I'll come back and talk to you guys again. See you later.
So this is what the individual braids looks like. So this part I parted out is five inches, which I want to show you. I like to work with wider um, um, parts for my cornrows. Then I will continue making the individual braids till I get to the last point. Then I will quickly come back and show you guys how I do my cornrows. Nothing too special, nothing too new, just the normal way of doing your cornrows. But just that, I don't think I have done a full less week. Because I have braided the week here using a full less week. That's why I want to quickly show you how I prep my full less week. Sorry. I don't think I have made a wig using the human hair on this channel. So that is the reason of this video to show you how I prep my human hair uh, last week before braiding on them on on it. Meanwhile, I still prefer using canicalon hair. Yeah. But if you want if a customer wants human hair it depends on what a customer wants both of them are fine but in my own opinion canica long hair canica long last week is my favorite yeah so this is me making the individual braids as usual i will keep making uh, doing the individual braids till i finish so guys i hope you are enjoying this video so far if you have any question, please drop it in the comment section. I will be there as usual to answer any of your questions. And also, if you are interested in purchasing any of my products, please use the comments. Uh, sorry, the description, but I'm going to link uh, my WhatsApp. It's the WhatsApp number where you can order from or you can reach me. True. I'm going to link that in the description but always check the description box the column that says to order a wig that is where you get or uh, get inquiry about my wigs okay yeah let's continue watching i will come back again and see you guys
so i will use the same process to complete the rest of the hair deep in hot water then i'll come back and show you the finished look so guys this is what the hair looks like after the pin in hot water then i'll go ahead and use my styling mousse to tame down any flyaway hairs left to make the hair clean and super neat so guys this is the hair after everything this is the end result so thank you very much for sticking with me to this moment for watching and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please i'm begging you subscribe and turn on your notification to get notified whenever i post amazing videos and for you my old subscribers thank you very much for coming back for your support i really appreciate so guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section and again if you're interested in ordering my wigs or my products please check the description box the column that says to order a wig do like share comment what you think about this wig show love so this is the wig the view the back what well, this is what the back of the wig looks like so guys i'm going to leave you guys here till next time and i hope to see you guys again in my next video bye bye